Hi there, everybody. I'd like to start by saying thank you for everyone for all the support of the Clockwork Aquarium. And uh, I'll start this video with a small demonstration for those of you who don't know what it is. This is a, uh, a mechanical aquarium where the little fish turn, uh, swim around in an oval as you turn the crank. Starfish turns, the crab kind of jumps up and down. Alright, enough of the demonstration. I've made a handful of little design updates as this project has matured over the last year. And uh, the main one I'll start off with is these background cards. So what I start doing now for all future uh, of my themes that I've been making is uh, I made it so that the background was more or less a card. So this is a two thick one. This is like a triple thick card. And the original one that's in there is still just the single kind of thickness of the card. Um, the original methodology used to integrate the backdrop into the uh, the base of the aquarium. And, uh, and I wanted to do it from the very beginning, but I never got around to it until recently, was design it so that you could pop the background off very easily and it wouldn't be integrated so it'd be more or less uh, like background cards. So let's see how that works. I'll start by taking the aquarium's modular components apart. We'll start with just the topper, put that to the side, and then the aquarium itself. This kind of has to get threaded over the fish. Uh, just a quick little reminder, that's how that works. And now we have the aquarium itself. And at this point, the background, like I said before, used to be integrated into this. And what I'll do here is just demonstrate. It just pops out now. So I've now made it so it's not, re it's not part of the structural integrity of this part. So the background can now just be pulled out. And you can see here, this is, like I said, this is a single thick background. So there isn't as much depth to it. This one is a little bit, has a little more depth. This one has a lot of depth. This one was extra tall. So you had to add some uh, glass to make the aquarium actually taller. So there was an underwater and above water section. But now we'll take a different background. And we'll slide that in. Snip. And now you have a different background. So once again, we should be able to thread this over the fish. And uh, you can put the topper back on. And from the front and all the sides, it should look pretty good. And we'll give it another spin. So there you go. It's kind of a quick demonstration of some of the backgrounds. Now, of course, some of my other wilder themes, everything was different, um, but we won't necessarily, uh, this wouldn't necessarily be one of the main themes of the aquarium, I think. Right now we've kind of got this coral theme is pretty nice, and the, uh, and the main one. So now, the only other small update is uh, significantly smaller. We'll have to unbury it. Uh, and this isn't an update because I didn't want it this way from the beginning. It's an update because I finally got the part. Uh, they finally made these little corner pieces in the gray that I was using in the dark bluish gray. So now I've got those corner pieces attached uh, to hold that in there. It used to be the ones with the little angle cut out. Uh, so very small, but that is a, definitely a preference for how this thing should be built. So I'll put it back together. We'll do it with the original background. And, uh, and now we have the clockwork record. Once again, I appreciate all the support, everybody, for the Clockwork Aquarium. If anybody has theme ideas or other little interesting little tidbits, please obviously add comments to either the YouTube or the project page. But definitely go over to that project page, check out all the other themes that we've made for it. And, uh, and if you have a chance, hit the support button. Thank you, everybody. Have a good day. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm.